What's up guys, WilliamWestland.com back again and uh, as many of you know that follows me, I am uh, somewhat of a programmer I would say. I uh, study industrial engineering and management at uh, KTH in Sweden with uh, like a computer science uh, heavy focus whatever and uh, pretty much all the time on spare time I do program and uh, I don't feel that I my area of expertise isn't uh, like that I'm the best or anything at something, but I've done the hard hustle of uh, becoming good at programming from zero. And I know that I did many mistakes uh, trying to learn programming. And today there's so many resources all over the place where you can learn. You can learn by book, you can learn by video, you got like Code Academy, Three House, you got so many stuff. And it's so hard to just filter, okay, where do I actually start? How do I actually go about learning to program? What, uh, what language should I go to? What research, resource should I use? Etc, etc. And uh, what framework of mind should I have trying to learn all this? Because it is a complete jungle. It's like an IT jungle out there. Okay, so... As I said, I did a lot of mistakes starting to program. Um, this was like three, four years back. I didn't know anyone to program. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't go to school. I just tried to learn by myself. Like most people, I ended up at Code Academy, tried to do... I didn't know, uh, for the first, I didn't know the differences between the programming languages and I didn't even know what to do. Okay, so the first thing when you're starting out programming is to have a framework of mind to understand the bigger picture. Okay, this is so important. I can't stress this enough, how important it is to understand why you, for example, are learning a, a certain type of language or how this is connected to the whole uh, internet. Seriously, I would recommend reading up how the internet actually works. What is front-end, back-end, all this. You, you need to have an understanding of what you're getting into. Like what type of language you do and all, the, all this kind of stuff. It's like secondary. You need to understand how it all comes together. And this, before I actually started to read up on this, I was like two years in. I wasted so much time before I got my current programming mentor. Oh, guys, I was wasting so much time. Please don't do my mistakes. Okay, so let's say now you've read up on everything and you are like familiar, you know the different type of stuff, you know why you would use one language in front of another. Uh, there's videos of you, plenty of videos on YouTube showing you like pros and cons of different languages. I wouldn't say focus on language too much. I would rather focus on, as I said, the bigger picture and once it's time to learn uh, um, a language, you, I mean, when it comes down to it, if it's like a a regular, not regular, I don't know what to call it, like a regular programming language, pretty much it's all the same. If we're talking about like uh, Java, Python, uh, C++, it's all like based on the same, uh, it's like dialects. Once you know one really good, it's not hard to switch to others, so don't get too hung up on languages. And that's why I would recommend you simply, when you start out, start with Python, but understand why you do it. And the reason I say Python is because the syntax the grammatical thing, it's the easiest. You can focus on the logic, how you should think. You don't have to focus on the nitty gritty stuff. You will understand later. But as in mind, when you start out on this, you need to have the bigger framework. Otherwise, you will just be sitting there like, three plus five is like eight, <laughs> and stuff like that. And you will, the motivation also will be pretty low. Um, so yeah, I would start with Python. Uh, just to uh, get the, the grips of how to program, but the language isn't that important. I really want to stress that. Okay, so now to the more important start. Where do you start? What resource? Should you go by book? Should you go YouTube? Should you use resource X, resource Y? Should you take a boot camp? What should you do? And I would recommend you to do pretty much, actually like, uh, I would recommend you to go with a book. Like a, a book where they take you from the beginning till the end pretty much. And not that you have to follow this like, like a slave, you like every day just go book page by page. But I did a mistake of only going to like Code Academy, Code School, Treehouse and all this kind of stuff. And I didn't know anything else besides how to sum up, you know, do like easy algorithms. I didn't have the bigger picture as I said. And I think a book gives you a good association network 
why you need to learn certain kinds of stuff, like all the fundamentals that you really need to learn. So I would go with a book, but then on the side, at the parallel, I should also go with, for example, Code Academy. And then if you would go like, because Code Academy, for those of you who do not know, you program interactively with the web. Uh, and Code Academy doesn't have any videos, so it's just like text and you program on the side. It's like really suits me really well. But as I said, if I could do it all over, I would do it with uh, a book on my side, trying to, you know, incorporate it all into my uh, bigger framework. Um, then you have um, Cold School. Uh, Treehouse, there's probably like many more, of course there's many more, I haven't tried them all, but I tried both Code School and Treehouse and both are good, but there are like video tutorials and then you uh, write uh, uh, code like on the side in like uh, uh, examples and stuff. And I, it's not really my cup of tea, I don't enjoy sitting watching half an hour, an hour videos. And even when it's like shorter videos, it's not really my thing. It feels like it doesn't stick to me, but that's more like a personal opinion. But I do think some languages and some types of frameworks, some uh, specific information are really good to learn by video and like these shorter uh, things. So I wouldn't exclude it, but I would f on the beginning focus with Code Academy and a book. And uh, be honest, you can just b download a book, uh, f f torrent fucking download on the internet, it's uh, pretty much free. If you really want to be a good guy, you can um, yeah, buy it, whatever. And um, Code Academy is free as well. You can upgrade to the pro version. I actually recommend that you do, because I actually really love this pro ver version. Especially when I was learning some more advanced uh, CSS front-end styling stuff. I really like their pro stuff because they had like a lot of projects you could build and it really, you know, it was just repetition, repetition, repetition. So yeah, I would go with something like that. And uh, once you made it through your first book, you've done all these uh, like tutorials or the Python tutorial in, um, uh, in uh, what's it called, uh, Code Academy for example. And you, if, you, if you manage to keep the bigger picture, why are you trying to learn Python? How do you act, what do you actually do after you learned it? How is this applicable to actual applications? If you, um, if you are aware of all this stuff, once you finish these tutorials, you will know where to go next. As I think it's like really important to just don't focus on the bullshit and don't jump too much between languages or focus on the wrong stuff. So, Fuck languages, choose Python because, yeah, as I said before, it's just good syntax, easy, you almost understand. Then go with a book parallel to Code Academy, for example. But if video is your thing, go with video. Um, I wouldn't recommend YouTube, seriously. For these, uh, like, uh, Treehouse and Code School, it's like just a couple of euros per month. And fucking respect your time. It's not worth it sitting on YouTube trying to learn from some, somebody else. Do it interactively, otherwise you're just wasting your time and if you value your time you will save money in the long run. So yeah, that's my two cents, but I wouldn't say two cents, I would say like million dollars because it's, uh, it's fucking profound advice. So go with this, share with your friends, like and subscribe, thanks guys, bye. What's up guys, if you uh, like this video make sure to like and subscribe. I try to put up a new video every single day and uh, to give you the best of self-development and uh, all that kind of stuff has to offer just to give you the goodies. Pick the races from the shit, so if you want to see more of me and my chicken cooking food and my cute girlfriend in the corner, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks guys, see you in the next video. See you tomorrow.